Hey, I'm here to do a review of a few items that I have in my art toolbox. Some are new to me and some are old favorites. So first off, I wanted to share with you the Tombow Mono Zero Eraser Pen. This little, little tip, and it is, can you see this? Is it gonna focus? There we go. So that little itty bitty tip is amazing to draw with. And that's it, you draw with an eraser. And that's uh, reductive drawing, or also known as negative drawing. Once you have this in your drawing kit, you can't go back to not having it. It is so good. The Tombow Mono Zero eraser pen. And I like the small one, you can get a larger one though. Next, I have a cutting tool from the brand Slice, and they sent me this. This is not a paid sponsorship or anything, but they did send this to me so I could review it. They have all this variety of different cutting tools that you can get. They sent me a ceramic blade. So it's a ceramic blade. I like it in concept and feel. It's, it's light, it has a no grip on it. It has a really nice safety cap, very easy to put into my pencil box. And a lot of artists, they carry a, one of those just, what should I call it, straight razors with them to just sharpen pencils easily. But I don't like that. I, it never feels safe. I think this is a good solution to have a cutting tool on you that this you could use to sharpen your pencils or cut your paper to a better size. They sent me also some replacement heads of a chisel blade. And I don't actually know what I would do with this. Could probably do it the same thing, maybe even more easily sharpening your pencils with it. But when it comes down to it, I use a normal sharpener. If I'm gonna cut my paper, I'm gonna use scissors. This blade, it's supposed to be like more of a safety blade. It's a ceramic one. So I didn't feel it was terribly sharp. That might just be me, I don't know. It feels really nice, so I'm apt to really like it. Again, just easy to fit, fit into my pencil box. But at the same time, I don't think this is going to be an item that I absolutely have to have. If this is Oprah's favorite things, it's not making the list, but I am happy to have it. And if you are looking for an easy, safe cutting tool for your art supplies, or really anything, Slice, I think is good. Next up, this is definitely something that would make my favorite things list and I think I post about this and talk about this probably way too much. <laughs> it's uh, the General's brand white charcoal pencil. If you've tried out white charcoal pencils or any sort of white pencil, you know how frustrating it is that you're looking for that, that white to be so you know, effective in your drawing and it just kind of peters out. It doesn't have any like potency on your page. This pencil by General Pencils, or Generals, this pencil is so beat up and used. There we go. So I have used it quite well. So it is already beat up. I'll go through these too, too quickly, but it's, this white is so powerful that I, it's addictive. And once you have tan paper and you're using this, it's, it makes your drawings come to life. It is so, such a powerful white. General's white charcoal pencil. It's really good, one of my favorite things. And you'll pretty much never find me in my pencil box without it. I do have a complaint about it though. 
I would be interested to hear if other artists have the same problem with this pencil specifically. I haven't found it with other white pencils. Other white pencils, I don't like them, but I can always sharpen them pretty easily, you know, with a little turn sharpener. For some reason, this always, it breaks so easily when I'm sharpening and I'm not heavy handed or anything, but it feels like um, it's not the lead, but the white charcoal inside, it must be broken up. And it's possible that maybe I'm, I just keep on getting supplies that somebody has dropped the pencils, but sharpening it, that's why I go through these pencils so much. It's not just that I love them and I use them a lot, but it's because it breaks super easily when you're sharpening them. So I could solve that by be buying a better sharpener, like an electric one that's really smooth. But uh, I keep things simple. I keep my, my toolbox simple and I just have a little twist sharpener. So for now, I just had to deal with this breaking a whole lot. Those are three things that I just wanted to review quickly and get that out there. People have asked me about the different items that I have in my supply lists. What are my go-to's, my favorite things? Yeah, let me know if you want to hear more and if you've tried out these items and if you have the same opinion. I'm, I'm wondering, am I the only one? Anyhow, thanks for watching.